Hey Gwen, I am going to feed the dogs now and just wanted to make sure you had a record of what we're doing or how we do it. So first things first, in the fridge, uh, I usually get out their um, wet food. Now usually there will be a tub of pumpkin underneath the wet food um, and that doesn't need to, the Tinkerbell gets that in the mornings. So here we are at the counter and underneath, I'm just gonna pull out their bowls. Their dry food. And if you remember, Tinkerbell just goes nuts um, because she knows she's getting fed. Um, get out their moist food. Um, and that's it. So, let's see. So with their moist posh tape, their moist food, I mean, you don't have to count. I usually just give them about 15 pieces each. Um, you don't have to count them out or anything, but just, I just do just out of habit and because I'm anal like that and obsessive compulsive like that. So, like I said, I give them both about 15 pieces of these. The rest of it goes back into the black bag underneath the counter. Hush thing. This is what the, that moist food comes in. And there's two boxes of these underneath. Then, um, just about a scoop of, this is how I usually give them a scoop of this dry food. And then the wet food to mix it in with. I know, they are very spoiled. I usually give them about a spoonful. You just mix it all up. The reason we started doing this is because Eeyore was not particularly fond of just the dry food. So we found that posh tank, the wet food, mix in with it, gets them to eat better. Off the spoon before I put it back. And just goes right on top of that container for the dry food. Uh, if you remember, we had to give Eeyore his food first. And then Tinkerbell hers away. And then really just kind of keep an eye on them to make sure that Eeyore eats all his food or gets a chance to eat all his food before Tinkerbell goes in and snarfs it all up. Um, he may not always eat all his food um, sometimes, but sometimes what he will do is he'll eat some of it and then go pee on one of the beds and then come back and finish eating. But if he doesn't eat it, we just dump it out and let... Um, we just dump it in the trash, whatever he's not eating, and then let Tinkerbell lick the bowl clean. But we certainly don't want to give Tinkerbell all the leftovers, otherwise she becomes as big as a house, um, which is what has happened in, in the past. She would not let him eat, and we thought we free fed him, and uh, we thought they were both eating fine, except uh, Tinkerbell would just eat all the food, so Eeyore had nothing to eat. It was pretty sad. Eeyore got skinny and Tinkerbell got fat. Um, but once they're done eating or once Eeyore is done eating, um, we usually let Tinkerbell lick his bowl clean, um, clean it up and then put the bowls away. And the wet food goes in the fridge once it's been opened. Um, but I'll make sure there's extra tubs of what, uh, the wet food underneath in the, um, in the cabinet. So Tinkerbell's done 
and she is wandering around, basically waiting for Eeyore to finish. She'll come, come around as, as he finishes. No tink. Sometimes you just have to tell her no and she'll walk away. She she gets a little in his face. Alright, now he's done. He's gonna go pee. Alright, Tink, go ahead. Go Tink. Okay. Okay. You can go look at Clay. And uh, that's it as far as the um, the feeding goes. Um, this pad is, I'd say, almost done. Uh, there's a couple of spots remaining that Tinkerbell goes pee on, and then we'll just pick it up, throw it away. And like we said, in the pantry, there is a box of pads on the ground um, and let's just make sure under the desk that they have their water every day uh, especially if they go out because they tend to suck it down pretty good so Eeyore is going back and forth between the two bowls and licking, the, licking them clean I mean Tinkerbell's licking them clean and that is it um, I guess that only took about seven minutes thanks Gwen